Hello, and welcome back to today's video. We have come to the end of the year, a cold but fascinating month. Yes, that's right, November. Let's get ready for our November bullet journal setup. First of all, we will be doing a giveaway for this video. Follow the rules here, and most importantly, count how many times this icon appears in the video and tell us in the comments section. The winner will get a Harry Potter limited edition platinum fountain pen. Good luck to everyone! So let's get started. In this setup, I'm only using as little stationery as possible. Mostly, I will use the uni white gel pen, some black paper, and some black brush pens. My setup this month should be pretty simple. First of all, the cover. To be honest, I had a lot of ideas and I thought I'd try something a little different. Yes, simple, but different. So for November content, I'm going to make it like a black and white style, flowing through the universe kind of setting. In fact, I spent so much time doodling and coloring in the previous setup and frankly, that was quite tiring. <laughs> for the cover, I ripped off part of the top and bottom part from a piece of black paper and glued them on with the plus glue tape. I have to mention it again that if you haven't tried this glue tape, you should definitely try it. It's very convenient and easy to use. Because I wanted to present a feeling of being in the universe full of stars, I chose to use this Mitsubishi white gel pen to add some dots, stars, and mini planets on the black paper to make the whole layout look richer. On the left hand side, I used a whole sheet of black paper. Just like the other page, it was taped with plus glue tape. Simply write down this month's quote, Today, you can build the tomorrow you want. What I understand is to take action today and execute on what was just an idea. Then we will be able to build a tomorrow that is more in line with our vision. Simple black and white are actually one of my favorite pairings, and I love to use this minimal color scheme in my daily wear or when taking notes. To me, black and white are elegant and pure. However, this was my first attempt at setting up a bullet journal in black and white. I was actually pretty nervous and very excited at the same time. For the monthly calendar, I used separate rectangles for the days, for a total of 30 rectangles. For the top header, I used my black Tombow brush pen and I wrote down the days of the week with my white gel pen. I also left some space on the side and tore off some black paper as the background of goals and notes. I think the black background and white text is a really interesting pairing. Then, I added some cute stars and dots. If you want, you can also add rockets, astronauts, etc. to make it more interesting. In the meantime, I'm excited to share with you the four newest sets from Stationery Pal. Starting November 11th, we will have our biggest sale of the year, so if you want to buy Stationery at our lowest price, don't miss it. For this month's habit tracker section, I followed the same layout I've used most often in the past. I really like this way of keeping track of my personal habits. This time, I put the header at the bottom by using black paper as a background and white text on top of it. I used a font that I think matches the whole space, universe, cosmic vibe. I also added some stars and moons to make it look richer overall. Then I outline a shape based on the November calendar. There are nine habits that I want to keep track of, and I really hope that I can do well on these little goals I've set. <laughs> and as I compare them throughout the days, I'll use the black dots to keep track. For the headings, they are pretty similar to the previous ones. I use my black brush pen for the background and white gel pen to write down the habits that I want to track. On the right hand side, that will be my mood tracker. This month, I'm going to do something a little different than I've done in the past. Let's turn the journal 90 degrees, and I will make a chart to track my mood for the month. I've seen so many accounts on Instagram using this, and it looked great. All I had to do was simply apply the emojis on the matching date. It's very easy and convenient to record my various mood over a month. The next two pages are my video ideas and sleep tracker page. 
For the video ideas, I cut out the middle part of a piece of black paper and leaving only the edges. I glued this frame to the page and doodled stars and planets on the frame to give it the feeling of being surrounded by stars. As we're approaching the end of this year, there are a lot of important holidays worth creating videos for. I have a lot of ideas and so much motivation to create them that I just need to write them all down properly. So this month, I would like to have a dedicated page just for writing down my thoughts on the incoming videos. If you've been watching our Plan With Me videos, you'll notice that I haven't made a page for my playlist this month. One of the biggest reasons for this is because I've been so busy lately with so many things waiting for me to take care of that I can't find the time to listen to songs I like. Likewise, I've been so tired and anxious that I've been getting less and less sleep, which had a huge impact on my daily life. Sleeping is really important, so I made a sleep tracker as a way to keep track of the sleep I get. I'm hoping it'll get better. Finally, I'm working on the weekly spread for the first week of November. I decided to change the section for a bit, with the page split into two parts, the left and right parts. I still used the black in the top right and bottom left corners. Then I brush lettered the title, November, and surrounded it by stars. Here, you can see that I've put my tasks, notes, and mini calendars on the same page. This allows me to keep track of what I have to do more clearly, which I think makes more practical this way. I also kept the weekly spread simple on the right hand side by dividing it into seven rectangles with the days of the week. I love these scattered star dots. It gives me a feeling of being in the universe. As you can see, I didn't use a ruler to draw the lines, as I said in my last video. This way, it gives it a raw and handmade texture. Well, that's it for this November bullet journal setup. I really enjoyed this black and white, space feeling type of content, and I'm looking forward to November. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I do. If you're interested in the stationery I use, feel free to visit and purchase them from the official Stationery Pal website. Thanks for watching! Let us know what you think of this video and what you would like to see in the next video. Don't forget to join the giveaway and like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. We'll see you next time. Bye!